The Cabana project is a project to strengthen capacity in data-driven biology in Latin America. Our goal is to enable researchers in Latin America to participate in large global consortia equitably to solve the world's biggest challenges. So the Cabana project started in October 2017. It's GCRF funded, uh, supported by the UK government, uh, UKRI. It was really established to address the shortage of bioinformatics and computational data that we were getting from Latin America in global databases. In addition, Latin America has, has a lot to offer the world in terms of protection of biodiversity, food security, and indeed the spread of diseases in that area. So it was important to, to try and get Latin America onto some of our more sort of global research programs that are going on at the moment. The different axes of, of Cabana are related somehow to climate change. Because if you talk about health, I mean, migration of pathogens or the movement of pathogens is going to be affected by, by temperature changes. Food production is going to be changed. Diversity is going to be affected also. And we have the opportunity through genomics and bioinformatics in particular to find ways to contribute to solving or facing this problem that we are going to, to have sooner or later. The activities written into the project were 28 research secondments, uh, 28 workshops in bioinformatics to be held in Latin America, the creation of online e-learning courses uh, for Latin American students, and train the trainer courses, so a way of increasing the number of trainers in bioinformatics in Latin America. At the heart of the project are secondments, short visits to another uh, lab enabling you to embed yourself into a research group and do a project with a, a fresh group of people and a fresh perspective. Secondis were crucial to the Cabana program. Many of them came with expertise already in the challenge areas and when we upskilled them in delivering training they went back to Latin America, ran workshops, delivered training within the Cabana program as well as outside it bringing other people in the process. When I thought about this project that I wanted to do here, I thought about my students and how could I help them to learn bioinformatics faster and in a way that they would feel more comfortable and confident at the end. So my goal with my project here is to write two different tutorials, e-learning tutorials of two different topics, transcriptomics and metagenomics. These tutorials will be a guide for them to learn like the basics of the data analysis and also about the theory of these methods. The goal is to write them in Spanish and in English. If this is helpful for my students, maybe these materials will also be part of a larger project where we will be publishing this tutorial so people in Latin America will still use them. And maybe this could be a resource for universities as well. It's a naive view of biology, you know, what they say, well, we need like one or two bioinformaticians. You need whole teams. And, and the problem is the people is not there. Because even for teaching, you need different views and different expertise. And, and we get all this from Cabana. I think projects like Cabana basically what allow uh, people in Latin America to do is to build further bonds between bioinformatic groups, uh, strengthen them, and also it's going to allow more people to basically uh, be part of this community, get trained in it, and give them the chance of carrying out research involving bioinformatics. Decade, I guess, we've been starting to go into virome analysis, so looking at viromes of uh, potato, sweet potato, these are the, particularly the crops that we work most on. And so you need bioinformatics uh, to be able to uh, capture that data, find out what you're looking for, understand it. And uh, well, it's, it's been a bit of a challenge because bioinformaticians are not available all over the place, and particularly not in Latin America. So um, that's where this Cabana project came in uh, as a way to try to build capacity in, in bioinformatics in Latin America and, and within our own institute as well. So we've been able to have our staff participate in uh, bioinformatics training courses, but in that whole process, I've I've learned a bit myself as well and got the right contacts uh, to be able to 
access um, expertise in bioinformatics. As the project evolved, we, we realized that we could probably do a little bit more and um, we reconfigured the project to allow for some innovation awards, so some actual research to be going on in Latin America. We are trying now to establish a project between three different countries in Cabana, Mexico, Colombia and Brazil and we want to sequence the coffee roast. Coffee roast is a disease in coffee and it's very important because the losses are very, they are very high. So there have been a couple of really big challenges. Obviously the pandemic has been a, a challenge in a project that is based around moving people from one continent to another to do their science. It's been extremely difficult. We've developed a mechanism for doing our secondments and our workshops virtually. And the great thing about both of these things is, is that in terms of materials costs, they cost less. And so that puts us on a more sustainable footing um, for the future. In terms of deliverables, we've, we've actually delivered uh, everything that we promised to the donor and more. So I mentioned 28 secondments, we, we actually did 39. We did 28 workshops, we have seven e-learning courses actually on the internet and we're confident that that will be nine by the end of the project. And the four train the trainers, the sort of larger size train the trainer courses will have been held and in total we would have held 11. In addition to that we've had nine research innovation awards going on. The biggest one has been on, on COVID, sequencing COVID and identifying the strains that exist in, in Latin America. Over the course of the Cabana program, we trained over 120 Latin American scientists to deliver uh, training, some of which went on to deliver instructor training, some of which went on to deliver bioinformatics training for Cabana, so about 20% of them, uh, and many others outside of the Cabana program too, which is great. Um, in terms of getting training in bioinformatics, over 800 Latin American scientists received bioinformatics training. And we hope that we could continue with this project and we are trying to find new funding because we want to maintain this network. We want to keep the group. We have established a good relationship among us. We are almost like a little family. So I think it's important to, to build and create these networks. I think Cabana is a very nice initiative to consolidate not only the technique of uh, informatics in biology, but also to work together no, in, in some common problems that we, as Latin Americans, we need to, to solve. But there's only so far you can get yourself, right? And But if you build a community of practice where you can learn from each other and, and understand each other and, and speak as one voice, let's say, to uh, policymakers or uh, scientific councils, then you can uh, make a difference and, and, and build some real uh, critical mass in the, in the subject area. We've now got to the stage where, where the partners kind of know where, we, where they need to go from here on. For sure the training program will continue and, and they're now in a position where they are writing proposals and seeking funding as a unit. It's been a huge privilege for me to work with this consortium for the last five years. In some ways it's been life-changing for me and I'm deeply grateful to all of our partners for what they've put in place. You know, the project had some challenging deliverables and, and they've been met and we couldn't have done that without our partners in Latin America. So I, I would like to say thank you to all of them. It's, it, they, they have just been wonderful. There's no doubt now that the network will continue and is committed to both delivering training and pursuing its challenge-led research goals. We've worked on the principle of teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. We've helped to create a community of data-driven biologists working across an entire continent, and that's a really powerful thing. Mm -hmm.